Now you could have solved this problem using the equations of motion that we learned about in Unit 2. Or you could have used our new super cool technique of the work energy theorem, which is how I'm going to solve this one. Well, work energy theorem, first we need the total work. And that's given by this equation. Well, let's take a look at the forces on the ball. Well, this is an easy one. There's only gravity pointing downwards. Okay. And delta x, well, we're just going to use this distance uh, 57 meters. So the work is equal to mg times 57. And I know that's also equal to the change in kinetic energy. And notice that an amazing but necessary thing happens. The mass cancels out. I can also multiply both sides by 2. Oh, and don't forget that the initial velocity was 0, since it was released from rest. And now we have this equation. I just take the square root of both sides, and I get a final velocity of 34 meters per second. So, now we have another tool to solve this problem. We'll find there's actually places where this tool will solve problems that our previous tools couldn't. I think I teased you a little too much when I said, I don't know what energy is, but I know what energy does. Let's delve into that a little more deeply.